Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a new feature of Seesaw that lets you add your voice to any object that you add into a Seesaw activity. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm in my Seesaw account and I'm going to do a new drawing. And over here on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and grab a shape. And let's say I want to use this square. So I'll we'll add the square and I'm going to change the size of it a little bit. And now I want to add my voice to it. Maybe I want to add a little explanation of what a square is for my class. Well, I'm going to go here and select voice. So again, the way that I did that, I simply clicked on the object I put onto my canvas. I'm going to select a voice and I'm going to record my voice. Hi students, this is an orange square. We know it's a square because it has four 90 degree angles and all four sides are the same length. So now we have this little audio icon right next to that object. Now we can do this for multiple objects on the canvas. Let's go here and hit shapes. And I'll do this one here for triangle. And let's drag the triangle over. And again, we can record the voice. This is a green triangle. But we can also add voice to the background. And let's do that. So we're going to add a background color here. Let's add this uh, nice shade of blue. And now let's add background voice and hit the record. Hi students, this is Mr. Byrne. In this canvas, we're going to look at a few different shapes and get explanations of those shapes. So now I have that as just a listen text up here for my students to listen to an explanation. Now when I'm done, so that save button and I'll give that to all the students in my class. Now my students can also do the same thing. So my student can log in and I can have my students add explanations to the things that they add onto the canvas in their Seesaw activities. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.